Hey everybody, what is up? I am Doc Hikari, and welcome to Let's Play Pokemon Trading Card Game Online, episode 23. It's, uh, officially been a week now that Sword and Shield Darkness Ablaze has been available to the public, and it's just an awesome set. Uh, I do... Oh, clicked the wrong button. Um, I do have a couple of booster packs to start with today, and I almost have enough tokens to get another booster pack, so I'm going to work on having three or four, maybe even more, by the end of today, and in order to do that, I need to do some verses right here and right now, and then we'll have ourselves a nice booster pack opening to finish off the episode. Now, I've tweaked my Darkness City deck. Literally all I did was switch some energy and add uh, four trainers, I think. So, let's see how that fares now on camera. Because it was doing all right last night. Um, Ick Nicoletta. Nicoletta with a D. I don't know why I pronounced that as though it were spelled with a T. And they are calling the coin flip, they are thinking. Unfortunately, they lost it. Ooh, no basic Pokemon in my hand, so I have to take a mulligan. Okay, great. At least uh, I got Garchomp and Giratina GX Tag Team. So, although ironically, it's my ace in the hole, but my opponent is using a fairy type deck. Ah, uh, yeah, there's that Xerneas. That's really funny. So yeah, I don't normally uh, play this or record me playing it on Fridays, but um, I'm doing Pokey Mania this week. This day being the last day of that. In celebration of the new Darkness of Blaze, Sword and Shield Darkness of Blaze expansion set in the trading card game. And also, I wasn't able to record some of this week, so I like to do makeup recordings when I'm able. You know, I can't cover the whole week, but I can do a day extra. And, uh, yeah, you know, I'm actually feeling pretty good about it. I don't feel good about my opponent continuously discarding my energy if they could just, you know, stop doing that. <laughs> what is... is that their attack? No, it's the supporter card they've been playing. And hopefully they don't have another. Yeah, that's right, not this turn. Oh, ye gosh! Okay, well... <laughs> um... Offer my opponent a well-played, and... Make my last attack. That Xerneas. Yeah, 130 damage. Times two. <laughs> and... My opponent's still just going to go ahead and heal up a majority of the damage I dealt this particular matchup. Very pro. Okay. 
I'm just waiting for them to make their last... What? No! <laughs> you have me pinned, I don't know why. Why wouldn't you attack? I'm so confused. Can it not use the attack two turns in a row? It cannot. Okay. Yeah, I got it. <laughs> well, tap on the forehead. I gotta read those cards. I gotta read the attacks. That way I know what my opponent is up to. What's that pretty parallel hollow? A Ralts! I do love Ralts. And a parallel hollow Cynthia. I mean, I, I really feel like now my opponent's just rubbing it in, but they have other things that they can do. Regular hollow rare Orin Guru from the base Sun and Moon expansion set for the TGC. <laughs> they're really, they're rubbing salt in the wound. They're doing everything they possibly can this turn. Trying to make me mad. <laughs> well, that's impossible. I love the Pokemon trading card game. Hey, nobody likes losing, but as I've previously indicated, you know, most of the time, unless I'm really tired, I'll just play it out. Yeah, yeah, I saw that coming. So, I'm gonna try my deck once more, the one that I've been using at least, and then maybe I'll change it up. Because I really feel like it has a lot of potential. Okay, it's my turn to call the coin flip. And I will go first against my new opponent, Shokoko. I'm going to play Eternatus as my active Pokemon. Yep. Eternatus V. And I'll place Mewtwo on my bench. Okay, I actually need that professor's letter, but I'm gonna keep it simple for a couple of turns. And let's see what I'm dealing with in terms of that Mewtwo EX. Yeah, that may be a problem. <laughs> and the crushing hammer doesn't help either. Already Mewtwo. Oh. Oh wow. Mega Mewtwo EX. From, uh, I believe that's XY Breakpoint or XY Fates Collide. I know it's one of the two. And I apologize that I keep getting them confused. I know it's ridiculous of me. Wow, how much HP does that have? 210. Well, 150 remaining. Clash of the Titans! 
It is Eternatus V versus Mega Mewtwo EX. And there's that same Hollow Orin Guru from <laughs> that my last opponent had that's very interesting. Okay, I uh, don't think Eternatus is going to be with me much longer. So I'm going to pull Garchomp and Giratina GX Tag Team and Dragapult V from my deck to add to my bench. Then I'm going to play Professor's Letter to retrieve one Fighting Energy and one Psychic Energy from my deck to add to my hand. Get Garchomp and Giratina GX Tag Team started off right and attack with Power Accelerator one last time. Too bad I don't have a Dark Energy in my hand. If I did, I could have attached it to Garchomp and Giratina GX Tag Team, and then the Fighting Energy next turn would have been ready to attack. That Mega Mewtwo EX would have been out of here. But unfortunately, that's not what I have in my hand. <laughs> now, what was the point of that? All you did was lose energy. Hmm. Okay. Well, may as well go for broke. That is 130 out of 210 on the Mega Mewtwo EX that is currently the bane of my existence. And you are going to make me knock out my own Pokemon with that, aren't you? Let's look at that. Six damage counters. Well, let's see how much damage you do now. Uh, no. My Pokemon will survive. But, uh, I'm not exactly having fun with it. And there we have Mewtwo GX. Cosmic Mewtwo GX. What a super cool looking card. My opponent has a very good psychic deck. I have to compliment them on that. And, of course, my opponent uses Energy Evolution to bring out another Fearsome GX, Espeon GX. And I really like the artwork on that card. Although, I think my favorite in play, art-wise, is this Mewtwo GX that's just super cool, in my personal opinion. And a bit unusual, but I'm not too sure what I'm going to do once Garchomp and Giratina GX is knocked out. Uh, I've thought about it, and an option I have is Mewtwo. Hmm, okay. 
unexpected. An unexpected victory, but I will take it. One and one for today. There's 25 tokens, and that's plenty enough for me to buy one additional booster. And what now? Another un couple of uncommon chests? Okay. Let's see if maybe I can earn this booster. I only need a minimum of three wins, and I already already have a win streak. So I'm actually, I will switch it up. I'm going to go to my old mainstay, the GX Legends deck. Shura Hayes with a dark type deck and a very cool red and white Zoroark coin. I've never seen one with a red back like that. Well, it's all I've got. My ace in the hole, Garchomp and Giratina GX Tagatimu. Oh, I don't think I've seen that version of Greninja and Zoroark GX Tag Team. That is... That is some stunning artwork. Hopefully I can get a Psychic type energy. Okay, um, maybe I should place my focus on Faramosa and Buzzwool GX tag team, because I do not have the energy I need to make Garchomp and Giratina work right now. And there's that very same Eternatus V that I was using in my last deck. Let's see if my opponent can put it to better use than I was. Two hundred fifty, then, uh, yeah, I'm gonna say I'm gonna play boss's orders and then start the attack on Eternatus V. Hope for a crushing hammer or two, but, um, Faramosa and Buswell are gonna come into play soon enough. A Celesteela GX. The battle is intensifying. Okay, add Delmize to my bench. Steel fighting. Yeah, add the fighting energy to Buzzwool. Faramosa and Buzzwool. And I'll attack with Elegant Soul this turn. And I only hope that I did not draw Garchomp and Giratina DX Tag Team too late, because my opponent is already setting up for some very powerful dark moves. But, uh, we shall see if Faramosa and Buzzwool GX Tag Team can stand up to the onslaught. And the answer is no. A resounding no. Um, that's unfortunate.
try some of my old tricks. And I was just checking. I had a feeling that that was the same Eternatus B that I had just knocked out, and sure enough, Shura Hayes had brought it back. Okay, what have we got now? A Claymation Sand Dial. At least I get to look at some fun cards before I lose. Well, I definitely gave it a good try. Offer my opponent a well played. Thank you. Thank you, Shura Hayes. And you all know what's coming. That's okay, you win some, you lose some. I'm still having fun. So, I'll try my GX Legends deck once more. I'm trying to stay on a schedule today. Nyx 2, or... I'm not sure how one will pronounce that. Call it heads. And I lost the coin flip. Such disappointment. Okay. I am actually going to give Dragapult V a day in court as my active Pokemon. And hopefully that'll be enough. Oh, z -Croft. Very cool looking card. Okay. Gonna play Professor's Letter as I desperately need some energy. Attach one to Dragon Ball V, play Crushing Hammer successfully. Attach an energy pouch to Dragon Ball V, and attack with Fight for 30 damage leaving z with the remaining 100 HP. Now my opponent attempts with Crushing Hammer, but due to the coin flip, it was an unsuccessful attempt. Okay, attach another Psychic Energy to Dragapult B and attack with Jet Assault. One more of those and z is knocked out, and that's an easy win for me. Will it be so easy? Let's find out. Uh, right now I'm one win and two losses. I could really use another win. Ah, Pokemon Center Lady to change the tide of things just a little bit. A classic move and one that I use often. Okay, get a couple of Pokemon out of my deck so that there are better chances of me drawing cards I could actually use in times of desperation. See how that works out. And I think I've got it, just barely, but offer my 
opponent to well played. Uh, thank you. I was going to be polite about it. Another victory. So we're two and two today. Me and my Pokemon. So I just need 17 points to get that booster pack. That's not a lot. Yeah, I'm not even going to try and pronounce that. <laughs> I will choose to go first, however, and choose my only basic Pokemon, or Pokemon at all in my hand as my active. Eevee and Snorlax GX Tag Team. No favorite of mine. Well, it's, it's fast becoming one. So, um... I'm hearing what sounds like a very loud cricket. I, like, I have geckos that I've had crickets too, but the one that I'm hearing sounds like an outdoor cricket. And, um, gosh, that's loud. So, um, if that is audible, uh, I'm sorry, I don't think I can turn my mic down anymore to uh, cut off ambient noise any more than I already have. It's, uh, phew, it's annoying me, even. But, uh, I've only got about 20 more minutes to go. You know what, there's something I can do. Hold on. Okay, yeah, so the, the indoor crickets are still a little chirpy. I, I had the window cracked for ventilation, um, but now I can't hear that one that sounded like it was just absolutely shrieking. So, uh, yeah, sorry about that, everyone. That was ridiculous. to see to the lady of the house. It was actually very important. Okay. So... I guess that's what I'm gonna do. I'm taking a bit of a risk, but I do have healing stuff. So... I'll stop there. Yeah, I had thought about that a bit. I just, um... got called away. Hey, don't you start. Kitty cat. I, I love you. <laughs> I don't know if this is even going to help me realistically. But I guess I've got to try. Yeah. 
in the end it'll help me, but it's not the exact result that I wanted. So now I will make Garchomp and Giratina GX uh, my active Pokemon. But uh, <laughs> yeah, I don't have the energy that I would really need to get it ready. So all I can really do is just knock out Mega Lot Bunny and Jigglypuff GX tag team. And that's really none of what I needed. Yay! Oh, what fun. And here I, I have my uh, self-convinced that I'd be able to get that booster. You know, I just need two more wins. And it's just, um... It's not seeming like the most likely thing. I'll see what I can make happen with Cynthia here. Alright. That doesn't hurt my feelings at all. And, um... I'm just going to knock out that magic heart because I don't want to find out what kind of Gyarados it becomes. And my opponent is thinking. I will. Oh, there's a free win. I don't know why <laughs> Espeon and Deoxys GX tag team was the cue my opponent needed to rage quit, but. I thought they were doing well, I seriously thought they had a chance. Alright, I just need two more points, that's crazy. So let's keep going, keep the GX Legends win streak going. I guess that means I'm three wins and two losses for today. Rick Zuck. Rick Zuck is calling the coin flip. And I win the coin flip. I guess they called it Tails. But that's something I do occasionally. Oh boy, just Clefairy. Oh, there's, there's the good Pokemon. Okay, what, what am I up against here? Not much. And it's first turn. Okay, my turn again, and this time I will attach a Grass Energy to Faramosa and Buzzwool. And I'll attack with Shining Fingers. Now more while Grass-type is asleep. Tapu Bulu, that's the Grass-type Guardian. I was trying to remember the name of that particular Guardian because I saw it on a deck box in yesterday's episode of this very series.
Okay, I think it's time to amp things up. Light Forest. Once during each player's turn, that player may heal 60 damage and remove all special conditions from one of their grass-type Pokémon. Uh, cool. I feel like you're actually helping me. And I am noticing, I wasn't sure if I was going to mention it, but I am noticing the game is running a bit smoother than it has been lately, at least the uh, PC version. I've been having, personally, some connection issues with the tablet version, but I've, I always read about people reporting those, so why bother? But uh, this is a very fluid, solid experience, and they did just update the UI, and I think the playmat is a little more textured. I'll have to go back and look, I'd like to verify that. Okay, I see my opponent now has a Lorantis, and that's why they chose to, uh... ...heal up the previous form, which I couldn't quite read just now, I apologize. Alright, I'm gonna put an energy pouch on Pheromosa and Buzzwool. And I'm just gonna start attaching extra energy to it, honestly. Alright, let's see how this Lorantis GX fares. It's Faba! And that was actually a really good move, because now I don't want to attach any more energy to Pheromosa and Buzzwool GX. Hmm. Okay. We'll see, though. No, not that card. I'm trying to reserve one Psy and one Fighting Energy in the instance that I do draw a Garchomp and Giratina Tag Team GX. I don't know if that counts as two energy in this instance. I mean, extra energy will be one, two, three, four. Yeah, let's try for it. Let's get crazy. Oh, I should have healed Pheromosa and Buzzwall GX with the powers of the Life Forest. But I think no matter what, I'm going to get the two points, so... Yeah, even if I lose, I think I'll make this the last versus battle for today, and then it's on to a small to mid-sized booster pack opening. I really, uh, 
really did it to myself there. Oh, that makes no difference because of Life Forest. They can use that to cure all special conditions from Lurantis GX. As long as they remember, and they certainly do. It's unfortunate that I don't have better trainer cards in my discard because, oh, look who decided to join the party. <laughs> okay. Uh, that is really funny, though. Dude, you're a day late and a dollar short. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> Well, that, that just felt completely unnecessary. you even doing? Can I still win this? I have the exact energy cards that I won. Uh, my opponent is sort of toying with me. Okay. That'll do. That will absolutely do. Time to turn up the heat again. And go for broke! What does that item do? Hey! Thirty more damage to active GX or EX Pokemon. Okay. Oh, an unexpected move. Last minute from my opponent. And an unexpected draw to turn the tides once again. I'll draw another prize. And let's just see what Rick Zuck does. Oh, that's okay, Rick Suck. I'm actually just going to do what I should have done in the first place, and... Hmm. Ah. Yeah, I'm just going to remove that from the game. So savor this moment. I wish I could just put it in the lost zone, but, um, that's okay. 
Gonna remove an energy from this Felmantis. And then use my GX attack, GG and GX, to discard Lorantis GX. Now I don't get prizes for it, but I'm sure it'll make Rick Zuck sell. Okay, Rescue Stretcher. That'll bring Florantis back. Knock out more wall. Now I get to draw one more prize, and that gives me one more point, whether I win or lose. I would like to end on a fourth win, but if I'm tied at three and three, then I guess that's just what is. Oh, that flower supply. And unfortunately, I do not have any supporter cards in my discard, otherwise I could place them on top of my deck and draw them next turn, sure thing. Assuming my opponent didn't use any funny business to make us both shuffle our hands back into our deck. And I think my opponent has got this. Well played. Rick Zuck, that was an intense Pokemon card battle. And that's just a weird choice. Okay, there you go. No? Gosh, I'm just flat out confused today. Uh, I wish that were a switch or a third energy. I can do this, but I won't be able to use it this turn. So, assuming my opponent actually wants to win this, there it is. Well played, Rixuck. Defeat! Wow, a lot of damage dealt out that particular matchup. And a black and white series Plasma Storm expansion booster pack. So that's really cool. I, I don't think I have any of those cards. Let's go and find out what I have. Okay, I'll start with the... I had one more det Detective Pikachu code card, so I went and scanned that. 
one more mini pack. Okay, Bulbasaur, Charmander, Psyduck, and another Ludicolo. I was really hoping for that Mewtwo. But uh, maybe, maybe someday. Okay, now let's open an uncommon chest, as I have two. Alright, five tokens, and a Galarian Lanoon. Now I'll open Plasma Storm, as it's an older expansion. Very nice Articuno artwork on the front of the pack. And yeah, all new cards, because I've never opened one. Riolu, hopping through the field. Zubat, chilling in the forest. I like that artwork, that's really cool. Combi, also chilling in the field. Joltik, and it looks like it's sapping electricity from from an outlet. Coughing! Trubbish! By a bridge of some sort. Simiseer, enjoying some fruit. Hypnotic Laser. I've actually seen that card quite a few times, so I might end up using it. Parallel Hollow Rare Victory Piece. That's a secret rare. Whoa. If this card is attached to Victini EX, Victini EX can use its attacks regardless of the amount or type of energy attached to it. Well, that's very interesting. And last but not least, a Skarmory. And that's just a regular rare non-hollow, but still a very cool looking card. I do love Skarmory. Open another uncommon chest, hoping for a rare this time. My hopes have been answered. I can buy another booster pack. So, I'll, I'll go purchase a Darkness Ablaze. Uh, I believe that's a new card, and that is a Unified Minds Parallel Hollow Rare Licka Licky. And I did not have that. So... <laughs> It's really funny, I really want to buy, um, another Unified Minds booster pack, but, no, no, let's, uh, let's keep the darkness ablazing and buy another booster pack of that. And I'll save that for last. Unified Minds first, crinkle, crinkle the pack goes as they open. And only one new card, which is pretty easy to get a new Parallel Hollow, as long as you don't have the Parallel Hollow. Uh, but Water Energy, Sassy Salandit, Bound Sweet, very jolly Bound Sweet, Ferocious Magmar. Don't want to mess with that Flame Duck. Cosmog, Joyful Cosmog, Bidoof, Yan Mega, Audino, Caracosta, Parallel Hollow Common, Execute, and Tapu Fini Rare Non Hollow. Still, that's a really cool card. That's one of the Guardians. Very cool. I like it. Now, what everyone's waiting for, I waited for it for a good while. Darkness Ablaze. Open the pack. Okay. Trippy Lightning Energy. Marie. And I'm noticing there are actually little cottages in the background. That's a pretty card. Snubble, Bully, Taurus, Rookity, 
Galarian Mr. Mime. I'm feeling a lot like uh, when I opened the real booster packs. <laughs> I got a couple of packs a lot like that. Lunatum. A new card, finally. Dartrix. Pupitar. Another new card. Parallel Uncommon. Billowing Smoke. If the Pokemon this card is attached to is knocked out by damage from an attack from your opponent's Pokemon, that player discards any prize cards they would take for that knockout instead of putting those cards into their hand. Huh. Okay. Interesting. And last but not least... Caesar V Max! Oh, it's my first VMAX card that I'm able to use! Oh my gosh, it's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. What a way to end this week. Um, that's, that's going straight into my Darkness City GX deck. I may as well just do it now. Alright, an awesome pool, and I'm so happy about it. Add Caesar VMAX, and I know I am one card over. Uh, unfortunately, I think I'm gonna take Marshadow out of the deck. I had it in there because it's ghost type, but uh, I need the fighting energy for other Pokemon. So that's all set up. And hopefully, I'll show off more of that deck's potential on Monday. Everybody, thank you so much for watching. This has been episode 23 of Let's Play Pokemon Trading Card Game Online. I am Doc Hikari. Everybody take care, stay safe, stay awesome, and have a great weekend.